Welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world. I've just found this bag of rubbish by the back door. Hello, everyone. Hey, that's my bag. <laughs> what are you doing, Ben? Oh, I'm just having a quick look in your bag, Small. It looks like you're making a right mess to me. I don't know why you keep all this old rubbish anyway, Small. I'm keeping it so I can recycle it. Recycle? Well, where's your bicycle, then? <laughs> Not cycle, silly. Recycle. Well, what on earth's recycling when it's at home? Well, you know, when we finish all our food and drink, what do we do with the leftover bottles, bags, boxes and packets? Well, we throw them away, Small. Well, I've been keeping them in that bag, Ben. So now we're not going to throw them away. We're going to sort them in little piles and recycle them so they can be taken away and made into something else or be reused. So those bottles, instead of being thrown away, they're going to be made into other bottles. Wow, that's really clever. I want to recycle too. What do we have to do, little cook? Well, the recycling van is coming this afternoon, so we need to sort everything into piles. The paper with the paper, the tin cans with the tin cans, and the bottles with the bottles. OK, then, right. Um, OK, so there's a pile of paper there. Do you think he's got the right pile? No, Ben. The paper goes with the other papers, not the tin cans. <laughs> what? Do you think Ben's got the right place? No, Ben. The bottles go with the other bottles. Not the paper. <laughs> oh, right, now I understand. Hey, there's a tin can next to you, Small, that could be recycled. There you go. Thanks, Small. I'll put this with the other tin cans. All you have to do is look at what it's made of and then put it with the other things that are made of the same. Come on, Small, we'll have to sort this out later. Sounds like we've got a customer. I'm on my way! Woohoo! Woo! Who's our customer today, Small? You have to try and guess, Ben. You try and guess too. He's grey and white and has wings. Ooh! Give us another clue. He loves fish. <laughs> and lives by the sea. Squawk! Squawk! Oh, I know. Do you? Is it a seagull? Yes, it's Siegfried the seagull. And he gets very hungry. Well, I wonder what a seagull would like to eat. I think it's time to look in my book. <laughs> We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One sunny day, I decided to go for a trip to the seaside. Suddenly, I heard a very loud and painful squawk, squawk. It was coming from further down the beach, so I headed in that direction. The squawk got louder and louder, and I finally came across a very sad-looking seagull who told me his name was Siegfried. Siegfried had got his foot caught in the lid of a drinks can. He was hobbling about all over the place. I carefully removed the can from the seagull's foot. He was overjoyed and happily flapped his wings. Woohoo! Siegfried explained that some people put their rubbish in the recycling bins, but others just leave it on the sand. This is very dangerous to the wildlife. Just then I had an idea and whispered in Siegfried's ear. I went in one direction to the shop 
whilst my seagull friend flew off in the other direction to get some help. When I came out of the shop, there were people and seagulls waiting for me on the beach. I handed out rubber gloves and bin bags and gave everyone a job. The seagulls collected rubbish out of the sea and the people cleaned up the beach. Some people collected paper, some collected tin cans and others collected plastic bottles. Everyone had a job. Pretty soon, every bin bag was full and the beach was as clean as a whistle. Whoopee! The recycling van came and picked the rubbish up and took it away to turn it into other useful things. Siegfried and I made a big sign asking people to start recycling their rubbish. Then to say thank you, Siegfried took me to his favourite shop to enjoy a plate full of fish and chips. Hooray! Little Cook to the Rescue once a- This adventure? Oh, well done, Small. What a good idea of yours to get everyone to help. Way! It was a lovely day and Siegfried the Seagull was brilliant. Oh, oh, I think he's getting hungry, Ben. We need to think of something a seagull would like to eat. Hmm, thinking. is coming into harbour. The fishermen have caught lots of fish. They're kept in ice to keep them fresh. All the fish are taken to the fish market to sell. This is the fish market. Hee hee, that's a crab. And that's a lobster. These are all shellfish. They're called scallops, and they're called mussels. This lady is buying some prawns. What can I do for you this afternoon? Um, I'd like some prawns, please. How many would you like? Uh, six. Prawns live in the sea. by the sea. Bye! Way! I'm back! That was brilliant! 
I went to the harbour and saw all the fishermen unload their fish. <laughs> and I saw lots of different shellfish. They're called shellfish because they've got shells. <laughs> Did you see any seagulls, Small? Oh, yes. They followed the boats in when they were full of fish. Well, I think Siegfried will love his seafood cocktail. Come on, Small. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Jelly boats and pirates go for incestive pies. Carrot cakes and fruit smiles. And envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to seafood cocktail? You do? There was the juice of a lemon, two teaspoons, tomato puree, one teaspoon, paprika, a pinch, wholemeal bread, two slices, mayonnaise, two dessert spoons, crispy lettuce, one leaf, butter, one teaspoon, crab sticks, two chopped, and prawns. About ten. Whoopee! Let's get started! You need to keep the prawns and the crab sticks separate from all the other ingredients until you're ready to eat them, like we have in these bowls. Then, take a sundae glass and pop it onto a plate. And now, I'm going to cut the shape of a shell out using some clean scissors from this lettuce leaf. There we go. And down, and then up. There we go. Oh, yes, yeah, shells. I love shells. I saw lots of them at the beach. They were all different shapes and sizes. If you hold a shell to your ear, you can hear the sea. Whoosh. Whoosh. <laughs> now, put the mayonnaise. The paprika. Tomato puree. And the lemon juice into a nice clean bowl. And then mix it all up. Mixy, mixy, mix. Mix it all up. Hey, Ben, I know a rhyme about seashells. She sells seashells on the seashore. <laughs> it's called a tongue twister. If you say it really quickly, your tongue gets in a twist. <laughs> oh, seashells, she sells on the seashells. Se seashe oh, I can't do it, Small. I'll have to have a practice. Oh, right. Just before we're ready to serve the cocktail, add the prawns. I'm going to save this one for the decoration. And the crab sticks. Into the mixture and give them another stir. Why don't you try saying our tongue twister with us? She sells sea shells on the seashore. Try saying it really fast. She sells sea shells on the seashore. <laughs> when it's all mixed together, take the Sunday glass and I'll put in the lettuce shell. There we go. And now I'm going to spoon in the fishy mixture. In it goes. And I'll finish it off with a little prawn. Woohoo! That looks yummy! And look, Ben, I found some old newspapers. I'm going to pile them up ready for recycling. That's great, Small. Remember to pile them nice and tidily, like you told me to do. And now we're going to make some little fishies. So, 
we're going to need the two slices of bread and a fish shaped cutter. Now if you don't have a fish shaped cutter, you could always draw the shape on a piece of paper, cut it out and then ask your grown up helper to cut the same shape out of the bread using some clean kitchen scissors. Whoa! Whoa! Oh. <laughs> it's not easy keeping this recycling tidy. Finally, butter your fishies. And then, we can pop them on the plate. One fishy there, and the other fishy there. Woohoo! Brilliant! All finished. And my papers are nice and tidy. Woohoo! Oh! I hope Siegfried the seagull likes his snack. Well, we'll have to wait and see. One seafood cocktail coming through. There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam My name's Ben And my name's Small We've got the cleanest kitchen of all Tidy all the bits and bobs The things that help us do our job Ingredients well put away Ready for use another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear Let's all smile We'll be fish in a little while Aha, here comes the plate. Oh, yes. And it looks like Siegfried enjoyed his seafood cocktail. Look, Small, he's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, My seafood cocktail was the best I've ever tasted. Woohoo! I heard you were having some trouble sorting out your newspapers, tin cans and plastic bottles. To say thank you, I'm giving you three recycling bins. One for each of the materials. Plastic, metal and paper. I hope they help. Happy recycling! Ho oh, ho, small! Look at this! Ho oh, ho ho! These are great! And now they'll really help us put the right things in the right places. And we can keep our recycling nice and tidy. Woohoo! And look, there's pictures on the front to remind us what to put in each. Tin cans, plastic bottles, and paper. Hey, hey, right, OK. Oh, plastic bottle, that goes in there. And here's, oh, paper here, so that must go in there. And, oh, got a tin can there, so that must go in there. Hey, hey, see you soon. See you soon. Big cook, little cook, 